welcome! In this brief video clip, we will look at ways adults approach word problems versus student approaches. It may be no surprise that adults tend to approach word problems differently than children, as adults have a more formalized understanding of the mathematics, while students are still developing their ideas about how math works. For example, look at the following problems. Pause the video and think about how you would solve each problem. Most adults tend to see each of these problems as being solved with subtraction. Now, let's take a look at how a child might approach the same problems. This is Jackson. As you watch Jackson solve the problems, think about how your approaches were similar or different. So which set is Meg's? This one. And which one is Bob's? This one. Okay, go ahead and solve the problem. They both have one, they both have two, they both have three, but Meg has... Are those Meg's or uh, Bob's? Bob's, yeah. Five more left. He needs one. Wait, three. He needs eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five. As you notice with Jackson, he primarily relied on direct modeling with manipulatives when presented with a problem. At one point in the video, he does move on to the counting on strategy seen in the middle picture. As Jackson works with more problems, he will independently progress to the more efficient method of counting strategies, such as counting on and counting back. Eventually, he will use his knowledge of number facts to solve problems. This process of moving from direct modeling to counting strategies to number facts cannot be rushed. It will only occur through experiences solving a variety of problem types. As adults, we tend to solve all three of these word problems with subtraction. However, young children see them as three different types of problems requiring different strategies. Rather than telling students that these are subtraction problems and teaching students how to solve them in ways that make sense to adults, we need to encourage students to do what comes naturally. We need to meet students where they are developmentally allow students to approach the problems in ways that make sense to them. Then, we can make connections to more efficient counting strategies and equations as the opportunities arise. Through ample problem-solving opportunities and by allowing students to share their solutions with each other, they will start to make connections between the varied approaches to problem-solving and begin to use more advanced strategies. Approaches will vary depending on the structure of a word problem and the size of the numbers in it. At times, a student who uses sophisticated strategies will revert back to more basic approaches. For example, when the student is faced with a trickier problem type, or with larger numbers, or with fractions or decimals instead of whole numbers.